you came across this question in your jump exam how will you solve it it is extremely very easy now let's solve together the question says if 0 0.75 moles of cyclopropane and 0 0.66 moles of oxygen are mixed in a vessel with a total pressure of 0 0.7 atm i'm going to stress on this parameter so listen carefully now the question now says calculate the partial pressure of oxygen in the mixture now this question is extremely very easy now before we solve any question in chemistry it is important for us to understand the topic to which that question is from and from the look of this this particular practice question on the board is on the topic in chemistry called gas laws specifically a very important gas law called Dalton's law of partial pressure i know you asked me how did i know it's under Dalton's law of partial pressure i saw a very important term in this question and that was partial pressure because they said we should calculate the partial pressure of oxygen now before we start solving this question it is important for us to understand the rudiment of this gas law because we have agreed now that this question is from gas law specifically Dalton's law of partial pressure so it is important for us to now understand perfectly what Dalton's law of partial pressure is all about so we have agreed that this particular question is on Dalton's law of partial pressure so let me write that on the board all right so we know that this question is on Dalton's law of partial pressure now before we actually move further to state what this law is all about now i'm going to state what Dalton's law is all about so listen carefully now Dalton's law of partial pressure states that the total pressure of a mixture of gas listen the total pressure i'm going to use a diagram to illustrate what i'm saying right now so listen carefully all right the total pressure of a mixture of gas is equal to the sum of the individual partial pressure of these gases provided these gases do not react with each other now this is what i mean let's say we have a container or we have a vessel and inside this vessel or container we have many gases inside so let's say for instance we have two gases inside this container i'm going to divide the container into two all right so here contains gas a whereby the down portion of this container contains gas b so this is what i mean on this delta it states that the total pressure of a mixture of gas you can see now two gas are mixed together are you there so this because when they mix two gases together we will not get the total pressure of those gas mixture so i'm not telling you now that according to deltins it states that the total pressure of a mixture of gas this total pressure is symbolized as listen this total pressure we are talking about is symbolized as pt pt means total pressure it's like you pronouncing it as tp total pressure are you there so the total pressure of a mixture of gas you can see two gases in a container these gases you are looking at can also be three four five as the case may be so i'm just using two gases to explain for you i can use three gases four gas as the case may be just watch so the total pressure of a mixture of gas is equal to the sum. this total pressure now is equal 
So the sum is equal to the addition. That's what sum means. Is equal to the addition, the sum of the individual partial pressure of these gases inside this container, provided these gases do not react with each other. So it means here that the total pressure is equal to the sum of the individual partial pressures of the gases. We have two gases inside this container. So the total pressure will not be the Look at how I'm going to represent it. So the gas name is gas A. Are you there? It can be anything. I just called it gas A. All right. So lunar right is equal to PA plus PB. Listen carefully. Now, let me tell you exactly how you should pronounce PA whenever you see it. Now, PA you are looking at here should be pronounced as partial pressure of gas a you can say i cannot call it total pressure it is it forms a part of the total pressure you there when we add both of them together we are supposed to get the total pressure of that gas mixture so pa is partial pressure of gas a pb is partial pressure of gas b so what deltins was trying to say have been explained now with this mathematical expression and let me read it again the total pressure of a mixture of gas these are the mixtures of gases is equal to the sum is equal to the summation of the individual partial pressure of those gases inside that container provided these gases inside this container do not react with each other this was what deltins was talking about on the Delta's law of partial pressure. Do you understand? So you can see we have established a background. Are you there? So all of these things are very, very important. So listen carefully before I have to tell you some other things before we go straight into this question to solve the question. And at the end of solving this question, I'm going to give you one practice question. So you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. It is very simple. Now, remember I said that these gases inside this container can be more than two. You understand? We can actually decide to decide to elongate the container and now have like gas C. Do you understand? So you should not be confused. So if there is gas C, definitely we should add partial pressure of gas C to our mathematical expression. Do you understand what's happening? If I take it down to gas D, the same thing will happen. So that's how it works. But we let's stop at gas B. All right, let's talk about gas B so that we can quickly progress and then go over to the question and solve it. So I'm going to remove this. So moving further, the next task for us is to now learn specifically what is PA and PB. Do you understand? Because in practice questions, most times PT is given in the question. And in the look of things, they gave us PT. I told you PT most times is always given. And what is PT, which is the total pressure? They will give you the total pressure of the gas mixture. So the tax for you is to calculate the partial pressure of any of the gases inside the mixture. And I think that's what it asked us. They said calculate the partial pressure of oxygen gas. Remember, we have two gases here, which is cyclopropane. Now, you don't really need to care about the structure of cyclopropane. You know, cyclopropane is basically... An organic compound. I know maybe you are like you want to know what cyclopropane is, but just relax. All right, cyclopropane is an organic compound. All right, and the drug structure is very simple as well. Oxygen is a very popular element as well. So both of them are gases. So let's now say that okay, since what cyclopropane was mentioned first, then we are going to write cyclopropane here. All right. So this is the first gas whereby since oxygen was mentioned second, so we are going to write oxygen. So these are the two gases present inside the container. So you can see we've replaced gas A, gas B, which is still the same, you understand. So let's alter our formula or our expression. So P, it won't be PA anymore. It will be P cyclopropane. Are you there? Meaning that it will be the partial pressure of cyclopropane. That will work. This P, this one will be. So let's find a way to write this P cyclopropane. All right, I believe you can see the word plus P oxygen. All right, do you understand what's happening? I believe you are following. So we've, we've, we've gotten the expression. So moving forward, I told you the PT will be giving the question and it gave us the PT. You see, with a total pressure of this, you can see it's very important. So the PT is 0.7 ATM. 
So the pressure they gave to us was in the expressing atmosphere. The pressure can be expressed in MMHG, as the case may be. So if you observe, they are asking us to calculate partial pressure. We are still to look for partial pressure. So since our total pressure is in ATM, that means the partial pressure we are to get will be in ATM as well. To follow the total pressures units to solve. If you observe, all the options we express in ATM, meaning that our answer to get should also be in ATM because the total was in ATM. If this PT was in MMHG, which is another pressure you need, then the answer should also be in MMHG. Do you understand? So what do we do next? Let us now learn how to calculate for partial pressure of cyclopropane and also partial pressure of oxygen. To do that is extremely very easy how to explain. Now listen carefully. Moving further, let us say for instance, we were asked to calculate the partial pressure of the two gases. But in this question, they only mentioned one gas, you understand? This is a likely jam question. They'll just give for one of the gas. But I want to teach you how to, calculate, how to calculate for both of them. So moving further, let us simply use... So let's just try to shorten this so that it will be easy for us to quickly write and then solve. So I'm going to say PCP. This is what I mean. P, partial pressure of cyclopropane. CP is cyclopropane. I'm just trying to summarize it. Do you understand? So the question will be, how do we calculate the partial pressure of both of the gases? Because that's what they're asking us. Simple. So we've, we've done this. So the next will be P oxygen. You know, we can play right oxygen and then learn how to calculate the partial pressure of oxygen. The step I'm about to take corresponds to any other question you see. So just listen and watch how I'm going to solve this question. So moving further, how do we calculate the partial pressure of cyclopropane, which was the first gas in the mixture? Then it's solved like this. It's solved like this. It's solved by saying mole fraction, mole fraction of cyclopropane, mole fraction of CP, listen, times PT. Do you understand? Listen, it is solved by saying mole fraction of CP times PT. Just listen, remember PT is the total pressure of the gas mixture. So moving further, let us do the same for partial pressure of oxygen gas, all right? So down here will be a P oxygen gas, all right? P oxygen gas. So what do we write? We we'll simply write it's similar to this, then it's going to be mole fraction, all right? Mole fraction, listen, I'm going to explain this. More fraction of oxygen gas, all right, times what? PT, times the total pressure given to us in the question. Are you there? So moving further, let's elaborate more on this one for over to that of oxygen to get what exactly they're asking us. This question is very easy. You just have to listen carefully. Remember, at the end of solving this question, I'm going to give you your own so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section for mastery. Are you there? So moving further, what does this, you know, we are working with the first one. So let's rewrite partial pressure of cyclopropane will not be equal to cyclopropane is CP, mole fraction of cyclopropane. What does that mean? Simple, how do we get mole fraction, mole and fraction? A fraction has two parts, the up part and the down part. So basically it's called mole fraction. You know, fraction should have two sides, two parts rather, the up part, and also the down part, this is a fraction. Do you understand? So it is now called mole fraction, meaning that what should be in the fraction should be numbers that are moles. Are you there? And if you observe now, it is mole fraction of cyclopropane. Now, this is what I mean. Listen, first of all, what numbers should be here? These are the numbers because they were expressed in moles. And the first one was 0.75 moles of cyclopropane. Now, this must be noted whenever you are looking for the mole fraction of a gas, that gas should be at the numerator. Remember, a fraction has two parts, all right? You have the numerator, the upper part and the denominator the down part so for your numerator which is this up should be the number of moles for the gas we are on for the gas we are stressing on and what's the number of moles of that gas it is 0 0.75 are you there whereby whatever should be down is the summation of the two numbers of moles given to you in the question summation means addition of those numbers of moles so then we add them together what are those number of moles? 0.75 plus 0 
Do you understand what's happening? Times PT. What's the PT? It is simply 0 0.7 ATM. Do you understand what's happening? At the end of placing all of these numbers into this, we will now press our calculator to get the answer. So listen carefully. So for oxygen, partial pressure of oxygen gas will now be equal to more fraction of oxygen. You know, fraction has two sides as well. All right. So the, since you are stressing on more fraction of oxygen, oxygen should now be on top, should be on the numerator. Do you understand what's happening? This question is very simple. So what was the number of moles given to us for oxygen gas? It was given to us to be 0 0.66, all right, divided by summation. Remember I told you the down part should be summation of them, addition of both of them, which is this plus this, all right, so now be 0 0.75, all right, plus 0 0.66 times PT 0.7. All right, it's equal to you know this p partial pressure of the circuit will not be equal to so then let's press our calculator to get the answer but now remember something the question is asking for just one gas partial pressure of oxygen all right so this is what they're asking us not this but it's good for us to solve both of them and at the end i'll tell you to how to know if your answers are correct so let's quickly solve for this down part which is 0 0.66 divided by 0 0.75 plus 0 0.66 times 0 0.7 Wow, we are having 0 0.327, um, 0 0.327. So this can actually come here, approximate. So making this to be 3, so we now have 0 0.33. And it is, is it not partial pressure? Is it not pressure? Yes, it is. What should be your unit ATM? Do you understand? It's very simple. What is the answer to this question? You can see the answer to the question is option B. All right, we've gotten the answer already because they asked specifically for just one gas. But let's check for partial pressure of cyclopropane to see what we we'll get. And I'll tell you how to know if answers are correct. So 0 0.75 divided by 0 0.75 plus 0 0.66. All right, answer times 0 0.7. That is 0 0.37. We have 0 0.37, that range. Uh, 0 0.37. All right, yes. So basically here, you can see the unit also should be in ATM. So check if your answers are correct. It's very simple. What you simply do here is to add both of the, you know, remember we had this, you can see the formula we derived now. To get our PT, we add the partial pressure of this guy, which is cyclopropane, and the partial pressure of oxygen. So let's add them together. This partial pressure of cyclopropane, this partial pressure of oxygen. So let's add them together and see what we we'll get. So we're having 0 0.37, all right, plus... 0 0.33 let's see what we get wow we had 0 0.7 you can see that the answers are correct but since they are asking for just one of the gas then you just solve for the one you are looking for but i have to teach you this way from the scratch so you have the picture of everything so that in the exam maybe the ask for both of them you can actually solve it without stress so get ready for your own practice question if you find my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my videos to your friends. Remember, you can be giving more than two gases. If it's three gases, what will you do? Simple. All right, you solve for the three gases, but your, for your uh, denominator, all right, the ones that are down, if there are three numbers of moles given to you, they will not say plus the last number of moles, plus the last number of moles. Do you understand? It's very simple. Even if it's one million gases, you just have to solve, take your time. Is not difficult. All right, get ready for your own practice question. And if you find my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my videos with your friends. So have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions. I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen. Okay, guys, here is your own practice question. So you solve the question and provide the answer in the comment section. It's very simple. You can see now you are dealing with how many gases? Three gases, all right? So it's still the same approach. So inside that container, you have three gases. And the total pressure was given to you to be 18 ATM. So solve this question. And basically, at the end of solving the individual partial pressure of these gases, show that when you add all of these partial pressures of the gases, it will give you 18. All right, provide the answers 
in the comment section thanks for watching to have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions i already have them on the chemistry masterpiece okay which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry so if you are preparing to write the jam exam this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen